Shofatim, Judges 16. Then went Shimshon to Gaza, and saw there a harlot, and went in unto her. And it was told the Gazathathim, rather, Gazathim, saying, Shimshon is come hither. And they compassed him in, and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city. And were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. And Shimshon lay till midnight, and arose at midnight, and took the doors of the gate of the city, and the two posts, and went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders, and carried them up to the top of a hill, that is before Hebron. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorech, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Peleshitim came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him and see wherein his great strength lies and by what means we may prevail against him that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give you, every one of us, eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said unto Shimshon, Tell me, I pray you, wherein your great strength lies, and wherewith you might be bound to afflict you. And Shimshon said unto her, If they bind me with seven green cords that were never dried, then shall I be weak, and be as another man. Then the lords of the Peleshitim brought up to her seven green cords, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Peleshitim be upon you, Shimshon. And he broke at the cords, as a thread of tow, rather, as a thread of tow is broken when it touches the fire. So his strength was not known. And Delila said unto Shimshon, Behold, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray you, wherewith you might be bound. And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that never were occupied, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes and bound him therewith and said unto him, The Peleshitim be upon you, Shimshon. And there were liars in wait abiding in the chamber. And he broke them from off his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Shimshon, Hitherto you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith you might be bound. And he said unto her, If you weave at the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with a pin and said unto him, the Peleshitim be upon you, Shimshon. And he awoke out of his sleep, and went away at with the pin and the beam, and at with the web. And she said unto him, How can you say, I love you, when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times, and have not told me wherein your great strength lies. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her at all his heart and said unto her, There has not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazir unto Elohim from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her at all his heart, 
she sent and called for the lords of the Peleshitim, saying, Come up this once, for he has showed me at all his heart. Then the lords of the Peleshitim came up unto her, and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees. She called for a man, and she caused him to shave off at the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Peleshitim be upon you, Shimshon. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he knew not that Yahuwah was departed from him. But the Peleshitim took him and put out at his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass and he did grind in the prison house. Howbeit the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. Then the lords of the Peleshitim gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their Elohim, and to rejoice. For they said, Our Elohim has delivered Eth Shimshon, our enemy, into our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised Eth their Elohim, for they said, Our Elohim has delivered Eth into our hands, our enemy, and Eth the destroyer of our country, which slew Eth many of us. And it came to pass, when their hearts were merry, that they said, Call for Shimshon, that he may make us sport. And they called for Shimshon out of the prison house, and he made them sport. And they set him between the pillars, and Shimshon said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me that I may feel at the pillars whereupon the house stands, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Peleshitim were there. And there were upon the roof about three thousand men and women that beheld while Shimshon made sport. And Shimshon called unto El Yahuwah and said, O Adonai Yahuwah, remember me, I pray you, and strengthen me, I pray you, only this once, O Elohim that I may be at once avenged of the Peleshitim for my two eyes. And Shimshon took hold of Eth the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up, of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left. And Shimshon said, Let me die with the Peleshitim. And he bowed himself with all his might. And the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Then his brethren and all the house of his father came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Sorah and Ashtaol in the burying place of Manoach, his father. And he judged at Yashara'el twenty years.